WTAJ Sports with Peter Terpstra. Today was supposed to be Penn State's final spring practice. And the first year Penn State students, that was going to be the only group to be able to watch something like that at Beaver Stadium. Well, both of those things changed. It's not the blue-white game, and it's not the last spring practice either. So let's go out to Beaver Stadium, the next best thing. Here are some pretty pictures from today's scrimmage, courtesy of Penn State Athletics. You had about 7,500 people in the stands. It was more of a practice with a scrimmage portion. The defense looked dominant by all accounts with two interceptions, including a pick six, and there was plenty of QB pressure. Now, the offense is still working through a new offense as well. Some notes from today. Penn State did go under center for those who care, but it did not end well. A bobbled snap, a throwaway play, and freshman Kalen King had those two interceptions. He's been mentioned a whole lot this spring on a very deep de defensive back group for Penn State. So Penn State's going to have three more practices, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The last one at Beaver Stadium in front of the senior students, an encore spring game event, if you will. Talk to me. We announced it was 7,500 fans or somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, after last season, it felt like 75,000. Um, it, it really felt good uh, to be in there with, with our freshman students uh, and our parents. Uh, it was really good work for us. Obviously, there's a lot of things that we got to get cleaned up, but, but being back in the stadium, I, I thought it was a real positive for us. It was a weird year in general, but not having everybody there and not having the 107K and the Sweet Caroline going. Um, there's just so much that you miss, and then it was just, you know, it was, a, it was a little bit of it, you know, it was just a fraction of the, the normal capacity, but at the same time, it was still so exciting to be out there. Hopefully, we will see full stadiums or something close to it.